Okay, it's uh, time for another update on the on the truck. It's been a little while since I've done uh, uh, an update on this by itself. So, so you can see I've got the cab of the truck uh, here in the hangar, and it's back from the body shop and where they've uh, filled in probably a little more than a dozen holes, maybe uh, maybe 18 holes they had to weld shut and then bondo over and so forth. And um, dang, this one fly. And so as you can see, they, it looks pretty good from a little distance. And then when you get up close, it's got, it's still a rough finish. And what I'm doing right now is uh, I am uh, knocking down the initial uh, roughness of the, uh, of the primer using uh, this uh, Scotch-Brite here. It's uh, basically, it's the, uh, the very fine, which is about 320 grit. And then what I will do is uh, then I'll take this uh, 320 grit uh, with a block and sand it down real smooth. And what I'm looking for is uh, small little dents or small little things like, uh, maybe you can see them right here. Now let me see if I can zoom in, if it'll zoom in. Uh, there's these little teeny tiny, you can see them right there in the center of your screen, little tiny probably little pinhole size things uh, basically from the Bondo that uh, there might have been air in the mixture or something when they were putting it on. So we have to fill those in with I guess spot putty, glaze putty, I don't know. We got a body guy that'll help me do that. But uh, So as you can see the inside is all primered also. Some of it in finishing primer and then uh, for instance like on the on the back of the uh, cab uh, where the fuel tank goes it's just in a ceiling primer at the moment. And so we'll probably finish that primer, but uh, as you can see, the dash is looking really nice. It's uh, pretty smooth. I'm going to have to do some sanding on it. There's a couple of little spots, uh, like you can see that one right there, where the uh, body shop sucked, and they just didn't see it. So a few of those things here and there. Oops, out of focus. Hang on there. Ah, come on, get in focus. There we go. And uh, let me continue walking around, but it looks tons better than it did when we first pulled the cab off of the uh, off of the bed, uh, off of the uh, the chassis. So in the meantime, we are uh, uh, looking at color samples still, and uh, these are some of the the two greens that we've kind of narrowed it down to. We have a a dark green. Uh, it's called a juniper green. And uh, I don't have the clear coat on this, uh, so you can, it's really fairly dark, and the, the, our LED lights are really reflective off of that. So it's just kind of a test uh, color right now. Uh, this will be the color of the grill. They call it uh, brilliant white or something, and this one does have a clear on it. So this, this will look real nice uh, next to either one of these greens. But um, so we're for sure going to go with that white. And then uh, we're looking at this other green here. It's called uh, Ocean Green. Um, again, this doesn't have any clear coat on it yet, so it'll be a little bit brighter once we, uh, or once I spray some clear on it. But um, so anyway, let me walk back over here a little bit. I'll show you what else uh, I've been doing. And uh, we've got uh, two new rear fenders. Uh, we got them back from the body shop and. Even though they were new, there were dings and scratches and gouges in them, and even the advertisers say that uh, that you have to do body work. So they actually look pretty good now. Uh, they're back from the body shop, and then I went and did the uh, the uh, Scotch Brite pad and the 320 grit and so forth. But there again, I'm finding that um, as I get really close, and you can see these little yellow markers that I put on there, little pieces of yellow tape. They all, each of them point to a small, tiny, let me see if I can zoom in on it. You can kind of see it right at the end of the, of the pointer there. A little teeny tiny pin, oops, lost it in the focus. Let's see if I can get it again. Anyway, about right in there. You can see a little tiny, just a pinprick of a size of a hole. So that's got to be filled in and then, uh, Reprimered and sanded and so forth like that and then the same goes for you know like on the edges right in here So a lot more work on even these new fenders than you would imagine and then uh, The bed let me get back in here a little tight as you can see here. I've got the bed um, Panels front panel side panels and the rear crossbar all 
all put together, it's in its final position. Um, and then so what I've had to do on this is every square centimeter of this has to be, had to be scraped with the, uh, or uh, scuffed up with the uh, Scotch-Brite, uh, the red, the very fine, to take off all of the shine. This is, um, the manufacturer puts a uh, electrostatic type of uh, primer on there and that protects it uh, for shipping and storage and so forth. So that has to be not removed, but scuffed. Otherwise, new primer will not, will not adhere to it. And so at this point, um, as soon as uh, our painter gets back from vacation, uh, we'll take this stuff down and, and primer it. And uh, he'll come out and help me with the, uh, with the cab. And uh, we should be able to knock that out pretty quick. Getting awful hot now, so we have to finish up earlier in the days than what we used to. But uh, anyway, moving on, moving ahead. And so uh, see you all soon.